Now, one of the concepts that you will hear me talk about quite often is um, the concept of business scenario planning. And really, Togev touches lightly on the introduction of that discipline, all about how we take business requirements and model them and plan them into a series of scenarios. And that's really what this topic is going to deal with, is, well, how do I do a effective business scenario planning? Right, so with business scenario planning, it normally occurs, it actually starts within the architecture vision section of the ADM, where you begin to understand and list requirements and document them using a series of models. But really, wh what we want to do with business scenario planning is we want to try and solve two problems here. All right? And let's look at it in the form of this um, uh, rectangle. So what we have here is the problem space sitting over here. And over here, we have the solution space. And down here, we have a strategy. And we down here, we have tactics. And really, what we're doing with business scenarios is trying to move along this, let's call it this spectrum. We're trying to gather information. We're trying to analyze it. And we're trying to optimize, make it more effective, so to speak. And that's the scenario planning process. I want to move from this fairly large space of the unknown right, from a problem space into the solution space. So I was making my problem smaller and kind of getting to that solution space. And then leverage on the, leveraging on the motivation model that we introduced in an, another topic, to going from the strategy, which is fairly high level, you know, fairly limited on, on detail, right down to a series of detailed tactics. And that's really what the business scenario planning is, is looking to achieve as you work through that cycle. Now, one of the um, sort of challenges within the space, and, and often within the architecture discipline, uh, one of the f mistakes that are made is that people move along the spectrum too quickly. Um, and what that does is cr create the separation between the business um, because we, we move away from the whole business problem, the business problem space too quickly. So just a sort of red flag there, just you know, on a cautionary, don't drop down into that solution space too quickly. Don't forget to analyze and document your problem. And that's really what Togaf is also recommending. It's looking at, well, as we go through documenting business scenarios, let's look at the problem space. How do we define the problem space? And Einstein actually gave, have, also went on, by the way, to give a variety of uh, techniques on how to define a problem by reversing it and looking at it from different angles. So there's lots of material available to help you define problems more succinctly. Right. But spend the time here understanding what your stakeholders are looking to, understanding the strategy, the strategy landscape. So problem definition and problem understanding is one of the things that you need to deal with. The other thing that you need to deal with sort of wraps this whole piece here, and that's the environment. And sometimes we refer to that as the context. Right? But really, it's well, what sort of environment is, am, I, am I sort of finding myself in? Sometimes it's referred to as a dispensation. Is it massive change occurring? Is it emerges an acquisition scenario that's occurring? So th those type of environmental factors put a lot of pressure on this rectangle, a lot of pressure on your tactics, on your solution. All of those pieces, really, you cannot define the problem without having a clearer understanding of the broad environment that you, that you find yourself in. So when you're doing business scenarios, it's also looking at ways to understand your environment, not just the problem space. And along this journey as well, you're looking at other aspects down here. You're looking at the people. Right? So you've got the people aspect. Well, who are the human actors involved in this sort of this theater and within this particular environment? Who are they and what is their impact? What are the decision-making rights? All of those pieces are what you're trying to document within the scenario. You're looking at you know, tools and systems and you know, other types of actors that, that sit across the organization. You're looking at aspects like dollars and how they impact. You're looking at market drivers, all of those pieces or the sort of drivers that affect this environment, which in turn are going to affect how you solve this, this particular business problem. Now, there's a variety of techniques that you can use to help you document the space. And you know the, the list is long. And it could start with something as similar, simple as a use case model, building use case models to document these uh, scenarios. You could use uh, business process model notation models. Uh, the architecture discipline likes to use the Archimate discipline, which is a new standard that's been released. And there, there'll be uh, some, some more reading material for you under the additional resources of the Archimate standard. And really, that's an architectural standard on how to document and model architectural artifacts and outputs. And definitely worth your while reading through that specification. But all that they are are techniques to help you define this problem space so that it's clear on what it is that you're actually trying to solve within the organization.